<laughs> so we're back um open ai sora now for those of y'all who are listening you probably want to go and find the clips online and look for the train tech cast youtube link um to watch the videos because we knew it was coming, but we didn't know it would have come this good. Open AI, when they came out, 20, 20, 22, they burst on the scene. Yeah. yeah they, they burst on the scene around November 2022 with ChatGPT. ChatGPT would have been a text-based prompt that you put in, and it will give you back a text-based response. Sometimes the text-based response may be in a format of a table, might be in code, might be in um just plain text yeah just no just plain text yeah but it was really good at code and really good at plain text and paragraphs and sometimes it might get a table so it was able to format the data in ways that were useful to the to the prompt that you give it which is good which is cool um there's something else called mid journey mid journey was the photo version but that wasn't from OpenAI. Who made Midjourney? I don't know. recall. I don't recall. But yeah, yeah, well, I mean, Midjourney is the there. Yeah, then Dali. Dal, Dali is the one that um OpenAI worked on. Dal Dash E. That one is a video, a uh, image generation tool also. And well, people are generally like asking themselves, okay, how good could AI generate images? And we realize that AI could generate pretty good images. Um, but what 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 we notice is that they were stealing images from the internet. People like um Getty Images sued them because they literally was seeing the Getty image inside some of the AI generated stuff. And writers and thing, anybody who take photos and use them in news or whatnot, well, basically was back to them. And they created plenty images. Now we knew that well the next step up from getting images was to go to video. The problem with the problem with video is that you had to ingest a lot of video. And ingesting video on the internet ain't really that hard anymore because of apps like um YouTube for the most part. But then Instagram, TikTok, they were very video focused from like 2016, 2015 up. So there were a lot of videos on the internet and um basically nobody, none of those social media sites allow you to own your video. Once you put a video up, it's available and searchable on the internet and it could be used at any point in time. There's no copyright for it. So ingesting all that video was fairly easy. So they ingest all the video now and now this model could take a prompt and create a video from it. Which... Yeah, and I think it could, it could mention like a year ago. I think there was this video I saw on, on Twitter like a year ago it had a video with Will Smith eating spaghetti you saw that? yes I remember and that, it yeah. was yeah it was like you could like a a, a, eight, a five year old could look at it and tell yeah this is not real that could that, you know that's to tell you how absurd it was looking you know it could it, it, it didn't look real at all it, you know and the jump from that to now in less than a well in, within a year that for me is the big, one well, of the biggest um, things as well, you know. Apart right. from your head looking, it could, it, you almost can't tell if you're not really looking at the individual pixels or your, your individual sections to look to see, you know, something wrong. So I read, off. Yeah, I read up about it and they said that there have been many other image generation, like video generation AIs that have been available, but they could only do like five seconds or seven seconds for the most, right? This thing generating 30 second clips, minute clips and whatnot. So let me just watch one, right? And let me tell you the things I notice and well, you can tell me the things that you notice as we go along. So this was... Things that are, things that look good or things that are off? That are probably off? Things that were generally, generally supposed to be off, but they had, they did it, they nailed it, right? Okay. Yeah. So the prompt is, a stylish woman walks down to uh, a Tokyo street filled with warm glowing neon and animated city signage. She wears a black leather jacket, a red, a long red dress, 
and black boots and carries a black purse. She wears sunglasses and red lipstick. She walks confidently and casually. The street is damp and reflective, creating a mirror effect of the colorful lights many pedestrians uh, many pedestrians walk about. Full stop. That's the prompt. So watch what's what happening here. So she walk in and one of the things that usually happen in the, in the background, the AI doesn't really handle the background very well and it have a lot of weird artifacts and people with three legs and four hands and things. But everybody in the background is an actual human being. I'm not noticing any artifacts in the background. Um, another thing that AI usually struggles with is reflections and light. But the water puddles on the ground, they are reflecting the actual buildings. And you could see that the, the buildings are moving behind and the same colors are being reflected. And then it's kind of zoom in. Wait for the zoom in, right? You see them little gray hairs by her ears? AI wasn't handling that well before. The reflection in the glasses, when she looks to different places, showing that properly. Before that, I'd just be a straight plane of glass. And the wrinkles on the face, the, the, the details in the jackets, the fingers, usually they had problems with a lot of fingers and things. Yeah. Fingers used to look it not awkward. not hundred percent right in this like her hand if you look at her left hand there. You know it, it kinda <laughs> too long. It look a little too long. You know, but that's just Hot, the because thing, her like, thumb looking a little long. Yeah, this like the space between her hand like that. That look a little I, too long. I, okay, alright, they're looking like a crab claw, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, so, but maybe like the av- like we right now, we looking at it knowing as AI, but on the internet, the average person scrolling and looking at this, they're not going to be nitpicking and look, you know, they would gener- I, generally one, think one that on is one. AI. Yeah. Watch this one. Well, we know that mammoth still exists, but if this was a scene from Ice Age or any animated, um, cartoon show or whatnot. Yeah. They they nail it. What yeah. Why even the powder or the snow? Like so I have no I have no doubt that people who are into animation and and people like Disney and all those all those places, mm-hmm. they're gonna jump on this like Yeah, you're like, gonna un- like a bread. See, we all just, just say, yeah, all that programmers, you know, you wouldn't need, have no need for any next 10 years. Animators. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it, like, just like how programmers had to have to basically learn how to use AI to save their programming life, because when you go to jobs and whatnot, they'll ask you, okay, so how would you use AI to help you code? Mm. The, the same thing would have to be for animators and graphic designers to be like, okay, how do you plan to use AI to speed up your workflow or get things done? Now, what this could do is just like how um, ChatGPT could give you ideas and give you like a start on something. Yeah. These prompts here could give people a start into their um, animation and say, okay, give me a concept of a character who does so, 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 is X, Y, Z, blah, 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 blah. And then get like four different videos and be like, okay, I will think we will design around this character. And then they can start to draw and, and build instead of having to go through the creative process. However, a different thing that's happened with video, I think, which is what I want to bring up. Like images, they're static. And you could see certain things with an image and, and create a lot with one image. But when it comes to video, creativity takes a, a, a different spin because of, I'll tell you why, camera angles. Like the angles that you portray something from. Like sometimes I was watching a documentary about filmmakers and Martin Scorsese and all the people who used to do um, those movies in the early 70s, 80s and 90s. What made their movies really different, which is totally correct, is the camera angles that they chose to use to portray certain things. And where we, where we always try to go with AI is, okay, what are the things that an AI can't do and you need a human for? And my argument is camera angles. I don't know mm-hmm. if it'll be able to, to do the camera angles, even though it's doing the reflection real good. No, I, I think, probably. like, I think I saw some where it told you, like the one you were looking at with the kind of astronaut guy with the red hat, you know, it, it yeah. said, 
you prompt us. Um, a movie you know, trailer featuring yeah. adventures of a 30 year old spaceman wearing a red wool knitted helmet, motorcycle helmet, blue sky sold as a cinematic style, shot on 35 millimeter film with vivid colors. Yeah, so it had some, and you know, it had one saying overhead shot and drone footage, and you know, so I think you could probably prompt it, you could tell it what type of camera angle you want, and it will try to do it. 